you see like a lot of like more people like interested in the teams or like for when they during like during semifinals or is it just like mainly just all individual? Well, it's if you go if you go to like if I'm trying to be like re- you know what fuck it CrossFit never gave a shit about teams and they consistently just still don't care because they're like oh hey we're gonna have you compete only on two days it's like hey and we're gonna make you take a PTO day to show up it's like guys what are we doing? Mm-hmm. It's it's absolutely frustrating when. I can say this having watched it like teams so much fun to watch because you're trying to coordinate a ton of stuff, especially when it gets to worms um, and synchro work. It's really fun to watch. And it's just disappointing because the coverage, like they deserve the coverage. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's really frustrating that they keep getting the shaft on it. Honestly. Yeah. I mean, I would say like, yeah, maybe not the coverage for like masters and like teens as much as like, you know, teams, um, or or like indie indie people at the games, but like, yeah, masters like everyone's like, oh, we just or even the the adaptive too. They're like, oh, we we should get a platform too. But here's the problem: like, no one's gonna watch really. Like, who wants to see? Who wants to see? I, a- like, I would, I would. Here's the thing: no, people want to watch. It's their families. Like, if you want to watch, show up. Like, yeah, it's again, we need to keep creating these spaces so we don't lose the sport. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not gonna stop banning like. People want to watch it. We can't say people don't because there are people out there that want there. Again, the NBA wasn't super popular up until the 80s, and then it kept taking off with Larry, Magic, and MJ. Yeah. And then LeBron, and then Kobe, LeBron, Steph, like everyone else is carrying the torch, but it keeps growing and growing and growing. WNBA started in the 90s, and it's now like a lot of people are like really the, again, the normies of the people are now starting to give a shit about the WNBA. It's been around for like 25 years, guys. <laughs> like yeah. at the end of the day, it's like, it's one of those things like we can't just create it overnight. It's keep showing up and keep doing the damn thing. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just hope the masters and teams get like, even a, the adaptive too as well. Like, I'm going get... to masters. I am going to masters and oh, nice. wad wheel games with Kevin Ogar. Like they do a phenomenal job with all of them. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm excited to go to, um, Alabama at the end of August, um, be in the corner for one of my best friends in the, or not honestly my best friend in the entire world, Dex Hopkins. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I wish, I wish he came on, but all, all good. But uh, yeah, I'm just, I just, I just hope, hope that at least the masters get to grow more because those are the people that have the money compared to the other people. And so they need to grow that a little bit better to get more money coming keep, in. So we gotta keep doing it. Like it's not just a single year thing. Yeah. That's definitely. the most important piece. Yeah. <laughs>